Hi folks, welcome to another of my vlogs and I hope this finds you well. Um, first of all, a quick apology for it taking the best part of three weeks to get another vlog entry out to you. Um, things have been really busy with me. I, the weather, as you know, has been pretty good. So it's been pretty much non-stop with lessons, which, which is great for me, but I, I'm just a bit sorry that I haven't had a chance to get anything to you. Um, so hopefully you'll find this entertaining and a bit of a uh, catch up on what has happened in the world of golf over the last few weeks. Um, and it, it sort of it's been it's been almost a tough few weeks for golf. Um, I feel as a there's yeah there's been some good golf on sure, but there's been a lot of almost a lot, lot of controversies around. You know, you, you, if we go back a few weeks, and we think to um, Brandon Grace for one uh, when it comes to the rules that he he had a very strange drop where he crouched down and dropped it from knee height rather than keeping his leg straight when he dropped it. Um, I'll try and put that video or, or an example of him dropping it up here for you um what else have we had we've had Sergio Garcia getting disqualified I think that uh, uh, the rumor has it that it, it was because he was scraping his spikes along the greens which I, I just think that's pretty pathetic I wouldn't teach my kids to do that it's um it, it's it's horrendous you know I know Brooks Kupka called him out on it which I think fair play to him you know he's Garcia's best part of 40 and he's not he's acting like a child it's like come on that you're a I often say you're a role model whether he likes it or not and he should be doing doing better than that and um, so that that sort of left a bit of a sour taste um we've had some other funds with the rulings you know I just mentioned Brandon Grace but we've had a couple of lining up controversies in over in America uh, uh, people being penalized shots because in theory the caddy's been lining them up but you know there's no sign of that uh, in my opinion, anyway, again, I'll put the video up and you, you tell me what you think to it, whether or not this guy deserved a two-shot penalty. Um, he did, it was actually rescinded, so he, he didn't actually have to have the two-shot penalty in the end, but even so, it doesn't help the goal. It doesn't help the image of golf. Um, what else? We've had Matt Kuchar. You know, he, he had a local caddy in the um, Mayakobia Classic and, and, and in theory didn't pay him enough. You know, they, I think they settled on an amount beforehand. Um, Matt Kuchar won. And then there was sort of a, what's the word I'm thinking of? You know, a bit of a rally to get get the caddy a bit more money. And either way, some comments have been taken out of out of um, context and things like that. And it's just turned a little bit messy. So we kind of need almost a bit of a, golf needs a bit of an uplift. Um, and it, it got me thinking, you know, like, right, you know what, let's see if we can start the year afresh from now going forward. Um, and my question to you guys is, what are you most looking forward to about golf this year, okay? As I said, the weather is getting nicer. I'm doing a few lessons without hats on and waterproofs on. Um, and so my question, I love it when you get in touch, so please, please, please let me know what are you looking forward to, okay? So I got thinking, I'm thinking, is there that much to look forward to in golf this year? And I thought, yeah, of course there is, absolutely loads, okay? So number one, biggest, my, my favorite major of the year, I say it every year, it's the Masters, that's just 48 days away um, from, from getting started. So that is absolutely wonderful. I'm looking Looking forward to that. Um, the what else are we thinking of? These uh, um, the Open is over in Royal Port, Russian Island. Okay, that's the first time for God knows how long that's been in there. Uh, let me know. Are you are you planning on going? Have you already got your ticket? Have you got tickets already? I'd love to know. See if you're going. Um, what else? U.S. Open is back at Pebble Beach. They've just had the AT and T Pro Am there, and that's always a really good event. It's quite good fun. Um, but we know that the course will be completely different for when they have the um, the, the U.S. Open there. You know, the rough will be up or or, or, or they'll have any rough but just extremely fair it'll be interesting to see how they set it up um to link in with the pebble beach uh, i think last time it was held at pebble beach tiger woods won um, and he won by 15 shots which was just incredible if you ever have a look at the um leaderboard from that event you just see how good a golfer he was so so tiger woods is now back on the golfing scene and he's playing and he's looking fit and well is this going to be the year? Is he going to win a major? Is he going to win a, a, a tour event? Let me know. Um, what else have we got? What about on a more personal level for you guys? Have you taken some lessons over the over the winter and you're really looking forward to getting going, to getting your handicap down? Have you got your eyes on a particular trophy? Are you going on a golfing trip? You know, tell me, get in touch, because like I said, I love it when you get in touch. Um, tell me what, what you're most looking forward to this year about your golfing, um, golfing year. Okay, so that's... that's um, Trying to give golf a bit of an uplift there. So, let's move on. Um, the weather is nice, so I am now going to pop outside and I'm just going to talk you through a couple of very simple drills to maybe help you with your pitching. Okay, pitching is often quite un underrated. You, the, the story is drive for sure, put for duh. But I sometimes think that getting a little bit further away from the green, the putting, don't get me wrong, is extremely, very, extremely important. But your pitch shots within 100 yards is often known as the scoring zone. How many times do you find yourself within 100 yards 
and then either either because you've hit a really good drive and then you've got the shot in and you're trying to make birdie, or because you've maybe hit a bad drive, you've knocked the ball out and now you're within 100 yards. Okay, it can be a bit of a game changer. This, if you can start dialing in your, uh, start dialing in your numbers from within a hundred yards, getting the ball close to the hole. Okay, you're going to find yourself making a few more birdies. You're going to find yourself making maybe less bogeys slash double bogeys. Okay, so I'm going to head out there now, uh, and I will see you shortly. Thank you. Okay, so slight change of plan. Yes, I did say I was going outside, but I've just been outside. It's way too windy, so I'm back inside here now. Uh, and I'm just going to talk a little bit about pitching and how controlling your distance can be so, so vital for you to get your scores down, okay? Now, we've had a couple of guys over the winter come to me um, saying, look, I, I just don't have a feel for how far I'm taking, how far I'm hitting the ball when I'm playing my pitch shots. Okay, I may have 50 yards to go. Sometimes I hit it 60, sometimes I hit it 40. And a lot of the time, this comes down to actually having a bit of a perception of where your club is in relation to your body, okay? Now, I'm a big fan of sort of keeping things simple. So, whenever I'm within 100 yards, I'm only ever using my 52 degree wedge, okay? The reason being, when I'm playing a full shot, okay, I know that that club will go about 100 yards, okay? So, I've got 100 yards right here. So then, when I'm playing and I've got, say, maybe 50 yards, I know that I only need to maybe take the club back to about here. Bang, 50 yards, I'm gonna be there or thereabouts. And, I, and this is what I, I tend to practice, a difference in length of swings to get the ball to go a different distance. So I know 50 yards is gonna be about there. For you, it may be a bit different. Pick a wedge that you, you like, pick a, a favorite wedge. What do you sort of instantly go towards? Find out how far you hit that, okay? And then decide what your points are. Where's your 50, where's your 75? and maybe where's your 25. I'll give you a great idea on, on how far your ball is gonna go. Now, it's all well and good knowing, yes, I hit this 100 yards, but I still don't have much of a feel of where this club is in relation to my, to my um, backswing, okay? So what we often use as a point of reference is either something like the club or something like your arm, all right? So I personally use my club. So when I swing the club, I'm looking to get my club to about here for my 50% shot. All right, again, 50%, 50 yards makes it nice and easy, doesn't it? Some people might want to use, okay, so there's my club in the right position. They may want to use their arm, okay, and use that as a bit of a clock face position. So my arm here would be either at four or eight o'clock, depending on how you visualize the clock in front of you, but my club is maybe at 10 or two, depending on how you see that, all right? Now, to work these out, you've got to maybe use some, a bit of a video, you've maybe got to use a mirror or something like that to say to yourself, right, where am I taking this club back to? That's where I want to be, play the shot, how far does my ball go? All right, same again, do it a few times. Okay, maybe have a look, keep looking down at the ground. Yep, that's the position I want to be in, let's just check it. Yep, there's my eight or 10, off I go, I play the shot. Have a look at these distances, it can make a massive difference, okay? I'm gonna go sit back down over there now, and just finish this section off, all right? But just have a look and see, have a play around. Where does this club want to be for you to get the ball a particular distance, guys, okay? Right, so I am now back upstairs in the clubhouse at Hans Golf Club. Um, I hope you found that bit interesting. Okay, so what we find is there uh, that you've got two options to decide how far you're gonna hit the ball. Okay, first of all, do you use the position of your arm or do you use the position of your club? Have a little play around with it and see how, what you find is the most predictable. Okay, at the end of the day, it doesn't, have far, it doesn't matter how far you hit your wedge, okay, as long as you know what your half shots are, your three quarter sh shots are, and maybe your quarter shots. And then from there, you can just adjust it a little bit, okay? So my advice to you is head out onto the practice area, um, hit some shots using your half swing, find out how far the ball goes, hit some shots using your three quarter swing, find out how far the ball goes, and from there, you can then, let's like say, dial in your numbers, you can make little tweaks. For example, you're on the first hole, you've hit a good drive or, or, or you've hit into the trees and you've knocked it out. You've got yourself 50 yards away. Okay, if you know you hit your wedge 100 yards, you know that you're aiming for your 50% 50, 50 shot. Okay, so whereabouts is that in your swing? Very, very important to get out, find out them numbers, guys, okay? So that ju is just about it for this week. I will, um, I will endeavour to get another vlog out to you before I go to Portugal. Portugal is, uh, is the 10th of March, so I'm going to try and get one out before then. If not, I, um, I might have to try and make you all jealous and take one while I'm sat in the sun. Um, and I make no apologies about that. I hope to see you on the course in, in between now and then, guys. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.